everyone's having a wonderful Tuesday. Um, so today I'm gonna go ahead and feature this beauty. Um, her name is she's a Rena Verdi Peperomia. Uh, so that's R A N A V E R D E Peperomia. Rena Verdi Peperomia. Um, so when I got her, originally got her, she was a plug, a plant, which I wasn't aware of. And, um, they, she was already pretty much overwatered. Um, a lot of times now I know the importance of letting the plant sit for a while, then go ahead and take it out the pot and look to see how the roots are because, for one, you have to deal with plants that are plugs a lot different than you deal with a regular plant because their root system, especially peperomias, their roots are very, very uh, little and thin. They're little, little tiny fine hairs, it looks like, white hairs. So she was pretty much... Um, I was watering her, then she her leaves were drooping. She was really big, you know, um, her leaves were drooping when I got her and then I watered her. Um, and then after I watered her, I let her dry out, but her leaves were still drooping and it just kept, it was no, um, she wouldn't, you know, pop up and um, her leaves wouldn't sit up like how they're standing up now. Um, they were just all drooping everywhere. So what I ended up doing was taking her out the pot. Once I took her out the pot, it was just nothing but mud in the uh, soil, just muddy. Uh, there, I didn't see any action. So then I cleared everything out and I ended up seeing she was a plug and there was no roots. So I basically started her all over again. Um, she lost a lot of her stems, which was fine, but I was like, I, you know, I didn't know what to do. I spent like $7.50 for her, which wasn't bad, but um, she was in a four inch pot. So what I ended up doing was putting her inside, uh, I water propagated her, even though um, they say you can't water propagate them, you're supposed to do leaf cuttings. Well, she water propagated, cause I was like, well, if she doesn't make it, then I guess I'll just, be out of seven dollars that's how i looked at it you know um so i went ahead and put her in water she ended up getting roots the roots were so cute they were little like i said little white roots um so i think i have water propagated her around january around march is when she got some good enough roots and then i went ahead and potted her up um in some good draining soil um and yeah she's living her best life now she's in a terracotta pot um so yeah she needs um to dry all the way out she her leaves are these the leaves are pretty they feel they're not succulent i can't really describe it it's they're very soft but then they're sturdy also at the same time but they're not like succulent leaves um and so with this one, you do want to provide a bit of humidity. Um, really, most peperomias want humidity anyways. But um, this one particular, I do let her, you know, I try to provide all the plants actually with humidity. Um, because they are from a tropical area. I believe most of them are from Peru, peperomias are. Um, but yeah, I let her dry completely out before I water her. Um, she will let her leaves fall and they won't be so, um, so upright. You see how they're upright and she grows little leaves coming. They come in from there. So all the leaves are going to come in from the center of the uh, plant. And as you see, there's a bunch of little ones in there that are all new, um, she you know so if you feel you can't restart a plant if you know cut all the roots off get the, those uh, mushy roots off and just stick them in some water her stem i just put the like the 
the stem into the water um so this plant comes in like one stalk uh there was a couple of stalks actually and a lot of leaves attached to the stalk i put her in water um just the stalk part you don't want to get the stem all the way in there you just want that bottom of the stem to be touching water to get um you know to make sure to get roots but you never want the stem or the leaf to go into that water um that'll rot them out so um but yeah so if you do get one of these and you find you want to propagate it um that's how i propagated her uh, and started her over basically so she ended up getting a lot of new leaves some of them are old but she did get a lot of new leaves um but yeah so i provide her with uh bright and direct light um not too much sun but not too low of sun um she's in most of my peperomias are on a table it's a glass table and i actually have them all sitting under there some of most of them are under that table and the table is glass so it has a lamp on top of the table which i keep on and the lamp is a daylight uh bulb with uh a full a daylight bulb thousand watt in its um 5000 k um so 5000 kelvin so that light pretty much goes down from the glass and it beams on them because they are understory plants anyway so they're not used to being getting bright direct there's used of being an understory plant basically so um so that's what i provide her with i did put her in terracotta they love terracotta uh, because their roots being when you do propagate a plant and you get to see how their roots come out it teaches you a lot on how the plant needs to be uh you know not too big of a pot terracotta so they're breathing but their roots are really really thin they're not like other roots um so most I believe all peperomias are like that. Their roots are very fragile roots. Um, so it's best to keep them in an airy soil um, that drains and of course with a drainage hole. Um, so yeah, so one, um, bright and direct light. Two, provide humidity. You know at least you're 50%. If you can keep 50%, in above that would be great for really any tropical plant um but yeah or group them all together i have all my peperomias grouped together and then they have a few bowls of water sitting around them so that water is evaporating up in the air and that's providing humidity and then grouping them together also provides humidity as well so um yeah so bright and direct light provides some humidity <clears throat> um let it dry out um let it pretty much don't let it go bone dry but let it dry completely out because they rot quickly because those roots are not they're very fragile so uh, if you let it sit in water for too long um, or let the roots be so soggy it'll rot out and um if you want to keep your plant you know beautiful and vibrant and to be growing put it in terracotta put it in a uh, soil that's very well draining and let her soil dry out um, the plant pretty much will tell you because her leaves kind of drew down um, just like you know the other ripple uh, plants she pretty much is I believe part of the ripple but her leaves are a little bit different um, but yeah if you um want to keep her you know alive that's your best that's how i take care of mine i'm once again in sacramento california so my care for my plants is what uh, my environment is now you may be in a different environment and um you may have to but i don't like i always say it doesn't matter what environment you're in uh with peperomias you want to let them dry out they are semi-succulent they're not succulent but they are and that meaning they don't want to be um they want to dry out just like your hoyas and your uh sansevierias 
um, they want to dry out as well. Um, and so, yeah, so that's pretty much it. She's really pretty. Um, so I pretty much explained to you how to propagate her, um, how now you probably could do a leaf cutting. Um, but with her, it was pretty simple to do the stem cutting. I didn't have any issues with her, um, you know, getting, um, in the middle and just taking that stem, which has few leaves on it. Um, and then I just stuck it in some water and, um, changed the water over. It took about a couple of months, but she ended up getting roots. So, um, yeah, she's, you know, um, been doing good. I'm really happy. I saved her. Um, so she's kind of like a little pet peeve because I was, she's one of the plants that I was able to, um, save, you know, I didn't know if I was going to be able to do that or not, but yeah. And I wouldn't recommend getting her leaves wet. Um, pepperonias, they really don't like getting their leaves wet. And if you get black spots on your pepperonias, that means they've been water somewhere around with water. Um, and yeah, their leaves will get little black spots if you get water on their leaves also. So, um, I wouldn't recommend she gets bottom watered. Um, all my pepperonias, I bottom water them. So yeah, make sure you bottom water your uh, pepperonia. I've done a video on bottom watering, um, how I water my Sansevierias and my Hoyas, I pretty much do my pepperonias the same way. And it's just putting them in a bowl of water, um, fill the pot, you know, fill it up halfway to of the pot. Don't make the water go over the pot, but make it um, halfway and they'll drink the water from the bottom. That way you're not getting their um, leaves wet because they don't really like their leaves wet. Like this one right here the leaf was got wet and as you see this leaf is kind of i'm gonna pull that leaf off because i try to get as me any type of leaves but this is from uh her leaf getting wet when i had um repotted her and stuff that's what happens you'll see those little black dots on um pepperonias and that's just from getting their leaf wet or them being overwatered. So just be careful uh, not to get their leaves wet. And just the best, I, my best advice would be to bottom water them. So I hope everyone uh, enjoyed this video. Once again, this is the Rena Verde uh, Peperomia. She's in a little four inch pot and she does get pretty big. I've seen some pretty large ones. Um, they get pretty big. It, you know, and they last for quite a while. So if you um, are out and about, um, they're sometimes, I got it at a nursery. Um, they're pretty, they were, I think they're pretty new to the, to the Peperomia market. Maybe last year they started coming out at the, around the end of the year. But um, yeah, I think that's the first time I seen one of these was like uh, October, maybe September. I seen one of these at a um, nursery and I, but I ended up getting her, I want to say December or maybe November. And um, yeah, so good thing to know. Most peperomias are, it seems like a lot of plants, they have plugs with the plant. Um, and that's just how they end up potting the plant up. So it's good to always check because with plugs, you can overwater them really quick because there's no roots to, to soak up the soil. So when you're watering the soil or if they have them in a big pot, it's just going to be all soil and there's no roots to suck up. And then you end up having that plug. So it's good to know. They're not going to tell you, of course, when you buy it, but it's just good to check it out. So thanks so much for watching. Um, if you, you know, see one of these, get it. It's They're really easy to take care of, low maintenance. Um, just let her, like I said, you know, follow those little care instructions that I just said. Um, that's how I take care of mine, and she's been doing okay. So I'm hoping everyone um, enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope everyone has a blessed day. Bye.